regardless of how you feel, your daily tasks always need to be completed, fam. So this is the ethos, this is the mindset you need to develop. Fam. Whether you feel happy, whether you feel sad, whether you feel ill, whether you got energy or not, fam. Your daily tasks then need to be complete. So, what's it? It's the 20th today. So March the 20th, 2023. And like, this is the second time I've been feeling ill, like, like, not no mad flu or nothing in it, but like a light flu in the last, I'll say, 30 days and that. So this is the second time I felt, felt ill in the last 30 days. And guess how many times I took days off work? Zero, fam. You see me, I'm a man, regardless of whether I'm a little bit ill or not, if I'm ill or not, man, still going to work. Regardless if I'm ill or not, whether I can be bothered or not, man will still go running, fam. Literally, if I'm ill, fam, if I'm if I'm a little bit sick and that, get me a little bit flu, whatever in it, yeah, but man will still go running. I hate running as well. So imagine, you're like, I'm doing something I hate when I'm feeling good, and I also do something I hate when I'm not feeling good, fam. My daily tasks, them have to get complete, fam. Man, I Ross Clark, man, this is the ethos, this is the mindset, this mentality you need to develop, bro, if you want to become successful, fam. Whatever the weather, fam, it don't matter, bro. I challenge the man then watching this right now. The next time you feel a little bit ill, let's say you're a gym man or a running man. I Me, mean, I don't do the gym thing, I go running. Man. Let's say you feel ill, let's say you got the flu. I challenge you to go into the gym and still do your daily workout. That's what men do, fam. Yeah? And... I think partly the reason why I got this mentality of regardless of how I feel, man need to go into work because I'm self-employed, fam. If I don't go into work, I don't get paid, blood. Yeah, it's like that, fam. Literally. If I don't go into work, I don't get paid, blood. Me, even if it's like, all right, so boom. So last September, man turned 30. Guess what I done, fam? So... On the day that man turned 30, I don't even know what day it was. It was a it was a weekday, innit? It might have been a Friday or Wednesday or something, innit? Yeah, guess what I done? The same thing I done the year before in 2021. Yeah. The same thing I done, well, not the year before that, because obviously it was COVID and that. So get me everyone. Well, I was unemployed and that. But the same as the year before that, uh 019, the same as the year before that, 018, blood, I went into fucking work, fam. Regardless, blood. Whether it's my birthday or not, man's going into work, innit? Yeah, and I get it. Obviously, I'm not expecting everyone to do that. Most people are not going to go into work on their, their one special day and that. But, you know, I don't even care about my birthday, you know. I just acknowledge, oh, okay, this was the day that I graced the Ross Clark planet. I still went, I still went into work, do you know why? Because I've got bigger things to look forward to than some stupid birthday, blood. See, when you're a man, when you're on a mission, when you're achieving stuff, when you're constantly achieving new goals and tasks and that, and, and you're, you're heading somewhere, you don't even care about your birthday. You've got better things to look forward to. So in the beginning of September, see, my birthday is September, isn't it? The beginning of September, a couple of weeks before my birthday, most people, if they were in my position, they'll be like, oh, my days, blood, you get me 20 days, whatever, in here to my birthday, I can't, I can't wait for it. I'm looking forward to my birthday, and I didn't give a shit about my birthday. Do you know why? Because I was in a process of completing on my third property. That was more important than my Ross Clark birthday. There's certain people, they have, oh yeah, Christmas Day, Christmas is coming up. You get me only three weeks to Christmas and that. During that same period of time, I'm thinking, blood, man, I need to hurry up and complete within the next two to three weeks and that. Well, so I'm going to lose the mortgage product and that. And the rate is going to go up from £257 to maybe like £450 because the interest rates went up and that. I don't care, blood. Whatever the weather, you got you got to get your daily tasks done, blood. Remember the other day, I must uh, message a man. So obviously, man, I'd work on Monday and it's Sunday. I must message a man like not too late, probably like six o'clock in the night, the night before Sunday, six p.m. Messaged one of the tenants the night before. Yeah, it's the electrician. Just to let you know that I'm gonna be doing the test at your yard tomorrow, and he messaged me back like thumbs up and that. Then the next morning, I'm making my way towards his yard at like 8 in the morning. I phone him at like 10 past 8. Yeah, just to let you know I'm on my way. And uh, Oh, can we um, cancel today? I, I, I'm not feeling well. Blood, you, you're fucking grown ass. What do you mean you're not feeling well? And funny enough, that day I, 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 I was feeling ill, you know. That day, blood, man, I had the little flu and that. And I'm going to him, fam. 
And then a man will wonder why, because I know that particular area is like one bed flats and that. A man will think to himself one day like, oh, why am I living in a one bed flat? Why am I unsuccessful? Why am I not driving the car that I so desire, fam? But you're too much of a snowflake, blood. You move like a girl. Oh, uh, can, can we do it another day? I'm not feeling well. Blood, when I'm not feeling well, I still go into work. Blood, when I'm not feeling well, I still go running. And I fucking hate running. You'd think that a man that hates running on a good day would use the excuse of not feeling well to not go running, blood. Nah, blood, I still go running. Yeah, if I've got the flu and that, I'll still go running. I might take it a little bit easier, but I'm still stepping, fam. I'm still going, going, out, the, going out the house, fam. Whatever the weather, literally. Rain, hailstones. I don't think I've been running in hailstones yet, but yeah. I look forward to going running in hailstones, if you understand what I'm trying to say. But rain, sunshine, fucking snow. The other day we had some snow and that. You know, like when the snowflakes is coming down heavy when you're walking, it's going in your eyes and you, yeah, you can't even see, blood. Man, twitching like some cat blood. Yeah, that was happening to me, fam. It's all going in my stool, go running, fam. Yeah, man, I had to take it easy. Can't only slip on, broke up and mash up myself a couple times and that. But stool, go running, fam. Whatever the weather, blood. The man watch me and think like, oh, why am I not in jail? I've got free, he's got free properties and that. You get me? He's got money coming in from work. He's got, he's got a decent paying job. Plus he's got extra money coming in for work. Blood, are you willing to do the things that I'm willing to do, fam? And if not, that's why you're not in my position, blood. You got to, fam. You got to make that sacrifice, blood. Certain man, they wouldn't want to do an apprenticeship and, and earn, what was it, £5 an hour I was earning? I think it was like £5.60 an hour or something. Man are getting paid after seven, seven and a seven seven and a half hour shift a day. Man are getting paid like £40 something. Man wouldn't want to do it at the age of 19 and that because they know there's other alternative methods to making money and that. Trust me, I know, man, at my age, when I was 19 and that, making a grand a day, blood. But where are they now, fam? They're in jail, blood. And then they will come out of jail thinking, all right, next time I'm going to do it this way, blood. I made a video about it. I ain't dropped it yet. But I'm saying that there's certain man in jail, they'll be sitting down and thinking, oh, okay, I'll bust shots to the feds and that. So basically, there's certain man that I met in jail, they got caught shot into undercover police innit so they'll sit down in their cell they might the judge might have them sitting down for about 18 months or whatever and do nine yeah so they get caught with hard drugs selling hard drugs to the police and that so you do like 18 18 months but you do nine yeah and they'll be sitting down and they'll be thinking all right next time i'm gonna do it this way no fam you end up back in jail blood it's long fam it's long. But anyway, there's certain man who, you get me, when I was doing my apprenticeship at 19, earning some idiot money, £40 a day, there's certain man, but I'll never do that, fam. But them, them man, they're in jail right now. Them man, they're looking over their shoulder. Furthermore, they're not, they're not even setting a good example for their youths, blood. How are you trapping? For? And then they will say, oh, yeah, I'm doing it so my son don't have to struggle with that. What are you talking about, blood? There's certain man right now, Shot in, trapping and say, oh yeah, this is for my youths and that. But blood, that spare money that you're earning and that, are you really putting that towards your children's tuition, fam? Youths, them are struggling in school, they're massing their English and that. They're all six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Why are you not even using that money to send them to fucking private tuition, blood? Not private school, but private tuition. So an extra two hours every couple of days and that to help improve their English and their maths. They're not doing it for their youths, blood. They're doing it so that they can, you get me, impress the people them around them, stunt on their neighbours, stunt on their brethren. So, yeah, man. But that's how you got to be, man. That, that's the mentality you got to have, blood. you got to think to yourself, like, whether I'm sick or not, but I'm still going into work, fam. I never understood this, like, how someone, obviously, I've been to bare different workplaces and that. And I never understood like how someone could be fit and well one day and then the next day they just call up sick and then they come back to work the next day. Blood, like, <laughs> how do you just wake up and you're sick and then the next day you recover and that? Blood, you're a snowflake, blood. If I'm sick, motherfucker, I'm sick, blood. Yeah, there ain't no, oh, yeah, sick for one day and them things there. And like, there's certain people, they would have woke up like me this morning and think, oh, like, that's how man felt, like, fucked still, it? Like, you know, a bit, bit rough and that. And they were just calling sick. Nah, fam, man, I'm not calling sick for nothing. I'm glad that I'm self-employed. I'm glad that I've had to adopt the mindset of blood. You better go into fucking work, blood. 
You see, when you're a PAYE and that, and you get sick pay and that, you will abuse it. But it's working against you, really and truly. So, yeah, man, that's that's the mentality you got. You, you got to have, blood. Whatever it, whatever comes your way, fam, you're going to just, you get me work through it. There's a video that I made, or a reaction video to, I think it's called The Power of the Mind, the realest video on fucking YouTube. Listen, your mind is powerful beyond measure. If you allow your mind to believe a weakening thought, that thought will become a reality. Let's take two cancer patients. The first patient tells himself it's no use. The cancer has already spread and life has no meaning. Guess what? The powerful force of his mind is going to make it a reality. Subconsciously, his body will not fight as hard as it possibly can. It will not heal to the best of its abilities. He has decided to end his own life. Now, let's look at the second patient. He is telling himself that he is too genetically gifted and blessed to be killed by cancer. Arrogant, perhaps. He tells himself the sunlight he gets and the water he drinks is directly healing him from his cancer. Same That's the fucking mindset you need to have, blood. I've spoken about this in a video before, so I've done a reaction video to one of my previous videos talking about depression and that. And in the past, like when I first started the YouTube thing, I spoke about depression a couple of times and then a couple of times later. And it's, anyways, there's two videos that I've done reaction videos to about depression. And what I'll say then, I still believe now in it, yeah. There's a thing called willpower. In that video, I'm saying, if I was on my fucking deathbed and there was a chance, I'm on my deathbed, I'm mash up in the hospital. If there was a chance, my willpower would allow me to survive. I will fucking survive. Do you know why? Because I'm a fucking fighter, blood. I'm not a weak individual, you know. Yeah, I'm not like Mr. Olympia and that in it, but my brain is fucking strong. If I was on my deathbed and there was a chance that I could survive, it was all down to my willpower. I would survive. A lot of people on planet Earth, if there was a chance they, they, they could survive, as long as they use their willpower, they don't have enough willpower because they're weak individuals. They give up at the first fucking hurdle, blood. They're a victim. They got a victim mentality. This is what I'm talk about on my YouTube channel with this black thing, blood. Yeah, do you know what? Let's say black people are cursed. Let's say because you're a nigger, yeah, you're going to have it 10 times harder white, man. I don't give a fuck. Let's say it's true. Just like depression. I don't believe in black oppression. So therefore, depression cannot affect me because I don't believe in it. And so can black oppression not affect me, blood. It's a placebo effect. If you believe in black oppression, if you believe in depression, it is going to happen to you, blood. Yeah, the black oppression and depression might exist, but you know what? It can't fucking affect me, blood, because I won't allow it to. I don't believe in it, blood. You could take my brain and put it in another black person's body who... So, me, the reason why I'm successful, the reason why I'm doing well for myself is because I don't believe in black oppression and that. You take someone else who believes in black oppression and that, and obviously their life is fucked in that. But I guarantee you, you give me their, you take my brain and put it in their body, they will make something of themselves. And you take their brain and put it in my body and I'll be a fucking waste, man. Like I said to you lot a couple of times already and I say it again, I wish I had a crystal ball that could show you two realities and that. This one, this version of JYS that you know, and then, well, the other version wouldn't be JYS, but I'd love to see how, where I would be right now if I believed that because I'm a black man, I'm cursed. Because I'm a black man, I have it 10 times as hard. Do you think I'd honestly ask yourself this question? If I believed in the curse of the black man, uh, you know, it's 10 times as hard as opposed to being a white person and that. Do you think I would be where I am right now? You think you think there would be a JYST for you lot to sit down and listen to Russ Clark Jen? No! Willpower. Yeah, the odds are stacked up against me. I don't give a fuck! And you see that part there? No man are talking about surviving this illness and that, bro. That'll be me, fam. Blood, I'll have that. I have that willpower because I've already, I'm already training myself, blood. That like anything comes my way, whether I'm sick or not, blood, I'm doing it, fam. So God forbid, man's on my deathbed and that, blood. I'll have enough willpower to Ross Clark survive, blood, because I'm training myself. I'm putting myself in a position where I do it every day, any day, blood. It's a natural habit. Oh yeah, I'm feeling sick and that. 
but I'm still going to carry out my daily tasks and that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I challenge the man then right now, the next time you feel sick, if you are a runner, yeah, or you do swimming or whatever, or you go to the gym, the next time you feel sick, do your run, go to the swimming pool, do your swim, or go fucking to the gym, blood. I challenge you. That's a challenge for the man, the minute. Stay where it's done, though.